Hi, this is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast, where CEOs, CMOs, and communications experts share their real advice. It's six questions under nine minutes because we get to it real fast. So let's get to it. Please welcome today's guest. In a few sentences, could you tell us who you are and what you do? Well, my name is Gwen Bates. I'm the owner of GFash, a red carpet accessory brand, and I'm now the new director at Fashion Week San Diego, a fashion events company that was founded by Allison Andrews in 2007. Um, what I do is I oversee events, strategy, make sure both companies are, you know, staying relevant and innovative during this time. And, you know, with Fashion Week, we're just making sure that, you know, we just continue to keep those events alive that change is emerging designers' lives. Awesome. Well, we could talk about it in a few, but I know you guys have gotten pretty creative, which is very admirable yeah. <laughs> and appreciate you being on today. Um, so Gwen, you're in the fashion space, retail space, um, and others. Could you tell me what is the best thing about being a leader in your industry? So there's so many good things. It's hard to honestly narrow it down to one. Um, other than being a mentor one-on-one -on -one with emerging brands and having that influence, I would say it's the creative aspect of being able to control what we produce right now. And so, you know, just being able to have that creative presentation right now during a time when there's a creative downturn, I think is pretty powerful. And, you know, just being able to represent the creatives right now has been, you know, enormous because they're pretty much what offers inspiration, entertainment during this time, you know, <laughs> we're all home and watching, so... Yeah, I love that. And you, you touch on something really important, which is having those relationships, the mentorship piece and helping them springboard their careers. Um, I hear from other successful executives that creating authentic connections, whether it's your team, customers, others, um, with all, can be challenging, especially with all the noise today. What's your take on that? Um, so first and foremost, I would say staying positive and optimistic. Those are key emotions right now. Um, I would also say, you know, just in creating those authentic relationships or connections right now, it's taken a different course. So my communication has been more um, consistent. Um, the conversation has been different. The authenticity actually comes in through the form of truly putting people first and understanding, you know, what our client or our team members are going through right now. And that pretty much just guides the conversation. And it, you know, it just pretty much lends itself to creating new connections. Mm -hmm. That's great. And, and that is really great advice. I'm wondering, is there any other real advice that you can give to other leaders? Anything else that you think is really important? Yeah, you know, there's a lot right now. Um, I would say a really important piece of information right now would be to um, keep the momentum going, um, be flexible, and also, you know, uh, keep that spirit of hope up to lead effectively during this time. I would say, that's three different things. So it's not just one piece, but they all are kind of interconnected here. And, you know, I found it really interesting with uh, the definition of momentum, but that's pretty much, you know, the strength or force that something has when it's moving. And so the key words here is strength and force, but you have to be moving. And so I think it's really important right now for leaders to keep moving, you know, whether it's brainstorming with team members or clients, um, whether it's, you know, taking in information and ideas from unlikely sources, I, I think it's really important right now to, to do those things to, to stay in some type of movement. Mm -hmm. um, I also think it's um, important to, you know, just have this momentum as a foundation upon an existing, you know, foundation for the future, whatever the future holds, because we don't know. And, you know, it just, this is just another layer of just being prepared for, you know, any unknown event future-wise. And as we're looking around, what we saw is, you know, there were some companies that had, you know, a ton of momentum. And what they were able to do is quickly pivot. And, you know, and they're much better and successful as a brand now. And, you know, they're probably well prepared for another, you know, pandemic. And honestly, I mean, there's no one knows any answers and there's no deadline on a pandemic. So, it's just kind of in everyone's best interest to keep moving or trying to find some type of momentum within the organization that's unique to the organization and how they do things. And um, I also feel, you know, uh, flexibility, it definitely goes hand in hand with momentum because being open to new ideas from unlikely sources and collaborating with untraditional partners, it's critical to moving forward and just having that community um, support right now. And uh, this year, uh, Fashion Week, we definitely opened up the opportunities that would normally be closed to you know, our audience, and it would just be geared to our designers, but we opened it up to the community. 
such as our, our Zoom fashion series that, you know, you were a guest on. And, you know, and right now it just kind of provided hope for other people in the industry, you know, getting that clarity and not knowing what comes next and hearing from these experts. So, you know, we're really trying to do our part as well to give back to our community in any way that we can. And we know that it's reciprocated from some of our partners through, you know, things that we um, are doing to create momentum like our virtual events um, and you know any other small social efforts that we're doing so we definitely know collaboration is key right now and we all kind of need each other to work together to you know get past this and you know to the end goal yeah. and you know most importantly i do think remaining hopeful right now provides a sense of purpose and it helps remind you of why you're doing that you know your vision statement and so um, for me, that's really key because, you know, at the center of a lot of things I do, it's, you know, it's a heart issue. And so, you know, you definitely want to have purpose behind what you do. And I, I believe keeping momentum and motivation, it definitely extends from hope. And, you know, um, there's a lot of things outside of our control, you know, internally, externally that we can't. But, you know, if we do have, you know, some hope, then, you know, we definitely will be in expectation that greater things are to come. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I love that point of view. And um, that's really great advice. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and then I've got one more question for you before we wrap it up. Um, are there any other successful executives such as yourself that you would want to give a shout out to or think should be on this podcast? Definitely. Uh, Julie Ferno. Uh, she has a destination wedding photography business. And she's also the founder of PhotoSpark. I think she's a good candidate because she's been navigating through the wedding space through COVID. And I think that's incredibly difficult. <laughs> Absolutely. She's moving forward with a lot of momentum. Perfect. That's great. Thank you. Well, um, Gwen, how can people go get a hold of you or learn more about what you do? Um, you can contact me at Gwen at fashionweeksd.com. Um, you can also go to our website and send an email to info at fashionweeksd.com and uh, we will get back with you as soon as possible. Excellent. Well, this is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast. For more insights, visit us at crowpr.com. Thanks so much.